Batteries need to get cheaper before electric vehicles can become more mainstream. According to Bloomberg NEF, the battery pack accounts for anywhere between 25% and 40% of an electric vehicle's cost. Prices have come down by almost 90% over the last decade. Still, we're a ways from hitting a magic number for batteries, $100 per kilowatt hour. That's the price at which EVs should achieve price parity with the nearest equivalent gas-guzzling car. The price of the average pack now, $156 per kilowatt hour. An EV uses rechargeable lithium-ion batteries similar to those that are in your laptop or mobile phone. They're just bigger. The batteries are expensive because of what goes in them, namely a small selection of energy-dense metals. And we're not just talking about lithium, but cobalt, nickel, and manganese too. Those metals can account for around 45% of the cost for the battery cells, produced by the likes of Panasonic, LG Chem, and China's CATL. The cells are installed in modules throughout the battery pack to safely and efficiently manage the discharge of electricity. Inside the cell, lithium ions shuffle back and forth between the anode and cathode. The casing around those ions keeping them tucked in is what's made of the energy-dense metals. Now, cobalt has been preferred because it stops cells overheating or catching fire, but it's expensive. So one way to make batteries cheaper is to switch from cobalt to more nickel. Not only is nickel cheaper, but it also holds more energy. But that's not without complications. Nickel-based batteries require manufacturers to spend money on safety adjustments. As part of a pledge to halve battery costs, Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently unveiled new cell chemistries that use less or even no nickel, and they ultimately remove cobalt too. Tesla also has plans to use silicon, one of the most abundant elements on Earth, in its battery cells. There are also concerns around nickel being in short supply. Contracts for the metal rose almost 30% between January and October. Fortunately, those higher prices could spur investment to find new sources of supply. So how long do we have to wait before the battery costs come down to a level where EVs will have price parity with combustion engine cars? Bloomberg NEF forecasts that we're only a few years away. It says that battery pack prices will fall below that magic $100 per kilowatt hour number by 2024. Analysts are expecting newer designs and better manufacturing practices too. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.